Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm trying to drive. It's the end of the of August, and we've got to run to the store. We have bought a bunch of things, and well, I'm pretty sure what I'm getting now is the bell trailer, because we've got a lot of round bells out in the field. We've done a lot of square bells that I've already got into where the um, lactating cows are going to go. And uh, now I've got round bells that I got to stick in something so that we can bed all the other bedding. Um, a little more plan. I've got a freestyle barn that I think we are going to tear down. And we're maybe I'm I'm thinking about putting a heifer barn there, but I'm wondering if we're not going to use the heifer barn. I think we'll keep it like it is. We'll use that free stuff for a heifer. So we built a lot of straw. We've ordered some more things over here. It's been a very busy at the last of August. Um, we also got a couple more tractors. So let me get this wagon, uh, get back, and we will show you what has gone on. Hey, guys. We're back. We've um, picked up 20 round bells. Um, I'm hoping they go into the the barn Hey, the one barn I have, um, I may have a problem with the alfalfa hay. Uh, that's probably gold tomorrow if it's not going to rain is mow down the alfalfa, which is right across there. Um, the, the goal is, is once we start running crops in the fall, I've got wheat to take in and then... I'll take like a load or two of each crop plus put it in the bin and uh, that would pay for the cows. If I get heifers first, I don't know. I may get some heifers and some lactating ones, but um, that way we already have the food. Uh, I've got a mixer coming, so I may sell the, there's a, when you see the auger, there's a, a, a machine there that does the same thing as my mixer, so I may just sell that, get a gravity wagon and my mixer. Um, it's a little rough back in here, uh, but it's, it's okay, it's the only tractors that come here. So let's stop right here because I do need to move. Some of the things that has happened since last video is I did find this cabless 200. Um, old school modding on Facebook. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's one of the admins to the group. Uh, has made some more Alice stuff. And this being a cabless one... Uh, works out great to do hay equipment and whatever else that I plan on doing. I do have the equipment to load for the loader. Um, I just got to pick up the store. We may have to do some work to this. As you can see, it's done a lot of straw. It's dirty. But uh, I'm hoping straw goes in that barn. I'm thinking this is going to be my heifer barn. Um, yeah, the way I placed it did that, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm thinking this will be my heifer barn. Uh, like a, when I buy the group of heifers there, and then this being yearlings out here. And yes, I finally did get rid of the cows I used to test that. Uh... I did do some changes back behind. Like I said, um, I'm probably going to sell that and the auger. 
I got my forage chopper. Uh, we got our chemical container put in. Um, oh no, I guess we have two two community or contain or chemical containers, but that's okay. Um, we do have a planter we're going to get. We got rid of that small one that was right here. We got a Mazzy we're picking up that's just a tad bit bigger. But the two big um, greenhouses, we had some bigger ones. We went down to these three small ones. Uh, we got a trailer back at the shop, or not shop, at the store that we need to pick up. Uh, I think that's all that's new. Um, 4.30. Um, we could probably jump into 2.20 and go get that drill now. Um, do I want to go get that drill? Yeah, let's go get it. Since this would be the tractor it needs to be on, we'll use this to go get it. Um, we also got a different truck. I just got thinking about it. Um, it's it's in the garage, um, almost. I'm riding on the barn. Hey, that was fun. Um, it is a Chevy 1982. I'm gonna stop this right here. We'll show you the new truck we got. Um, it's an 82. Come on. There we go. And, uh, little, little rough on the bed. We'll, we'll do some, we'll, we may do some painting on it to fixing it up but uh yeah it's a little little rough on the bed but cab's good still but being a farm truck you know it's going to get its work but uh i thought about getting an oliver to do the raking and stuff and then i saw the the 200 Alice and then I was like yeah the cabless cabless one would be would be good to keep keep me nothing but Alice and that is what's happening so once I get to the store uh, I'll get back with you and we'll show you all the stuff that we've ordered there well, as I was driving here, I was doing some thinking, and uh, we may mow that alfalfa down, but we may chop some fresh maize, start in that field to finish it as silage, as chaff, um, when we get there, and I, I think I know what field that will be. Um, it might be <clears throat> definitely another video, uh, but you know, we're just getting things picked up and I'm also thinking <clears throat> I may get the store to deliver everything we have there, um, tomorrow kind of thing. And uh, that way it's one less trip we got to worry about when we uh, go back and forth. Or instead of going back and forth, we can do that. Now, the only, the only thing I'm not liking about this 220 is the blue tint that's in there. 
Um, that's what you see in a lot of the Gleaner tractors. But uh, it's okay. It, it helps with the view um, for sure. Now, I know I have a thing to chop stubble down. And uh, with that oat field, we just ran and bailed and got everything out of. And I think I've got one square bell still in there. Um, oh, by the way, this, this is the church we go to. Uh, I think in the... And I've got some family members buried back there in that cemetery. So we we will we'll be there eventually. You'll you'll see us, you know, there every Sunday and any other function that we have going on. Uh this town here is kind of small compared to the big town, but the problem is is I'm going to have to go to the big town, I think. Because I will need to go get lime or fertilizer for that field. Um, we've paid for all the fields to be tested. So they have been tested. We know what what's going on there. So um, once I pull in the store, we'll be back. You know, being a small farmer in the big scheme of things, you see a farm like that, you just, you wonder if I could farm a field like that with what I have. Now, this winter, we might try to lease some ground. I don't know if it would be up here or not. Uh, I haven't decided, but, uh, yeah, we, uh, all right, I think I'll turn this off right here so we don't hear it, well, that's, okay, guys, um, everything you see right here, I have bought besides these two. Now, if I would have a trailer, or semi, I might be able to get some back. I do have a flatbed trailer that goes to my truck, but not something that would haul this. So, I could either... I'll talk to them guys in there, but uh, le borrow this trailer or lease it. And... Rent a rent to lease a semi. We probably could stack most of this stuff now. Here's the Mazzy Ferguson we traded in that real small drill for. It's a little bit bigger than what we had, so it's going to do a lot better for us. And I'm thinking this might be what I'll take today because. I can get that stubble down at the oat field. Um, real, really don't need these yet. Don't need, really need this until we get it, but this is the reason why I um, may get rid of that um, one mixer by the dairy barn for serves the implement. Here's the chicken food. We, we might get chickens before we get cows. Uh, what's this? Liquid fertilizer. Here is it's solid fertilizer. It's a mixture we put in to to, to spread potash and stuff. We're we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Um, here's um, my winter wheat. I ordered it already to put in oil, grease, and grease. And I think the only thing over here. Here's the nurse trailer for the the sprayer, but also after we clean this out, and we may do that right off the bat, this will fill water into the greenhouses too. So, um, well, before I hook to something, let me go in and talk to them real quick, see what they're what they can do for me to help me out, and. Uh, 
We'll be right back. Okay, we've talked about renting or them delivering. If I would lease this to just run the semi-trailer load with everything on it, it's $811. They would deliver it for pretty much the same. So... I think I'll just go ahead and have you guys deliver it next week. Does that work? Okay. All right, just let me know. All right. For the same price, they're going to be able to deliver it, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll just um, have them deliver everything. I'm going to take the the chop thing, the mowing chop thingy right now, and then everything else they'll bring next week bring next week um just because it it would make it easier um on me being that we have a lot going on and uh Oh, I didn't get over far enough. Um, being we have a lot that needs to happen between chopping silage and um, checking bean fields. Because if my records are right, or could be right, we uh, we could have some beans ready first of september too um let's check my lights i i really don't want to see the oh jump over that tire huh i hear him flashing but i guess i don't have anything to light up out there we'll we'll work on that maybe maybe not i don't know well guys i'm going to call this a video um i wasn't going to do one this weekend it's Memorial day weekend if you're in the united states uh just because i've been so busy but i was able to squeeze some in this morning so um there might be another American truck sim coming out this week also, but I wanted to get this one done. I was very impressed with the amount of views and likes I got with the first video of this Alice farm. Um, and so far I'm impressed with how these got, this is running on this Tallahassee County map. I've struggled with getting my equipment not lagging on here and I've established it's certain things that I've always been trying to run um, and I just kind of changed some things the biggest thing is is bell and square bells I have a kick beller um, I've always done the flatbed wagon where it loads when it comes out and I used it to pick up a lot of the square bells that were missed. And uh, I could tell that was lagging right there. So I've, I've done better. I've done better. Um, but that being said, have a great Memorial Day. And uh, or hope you had a great Memorial Day. Uh, this will probably be posting on Memorial Day sometime. So uh, it's either going to be at the beginning or the end, either one or middle. So uh, have a great week, and we'll catch you the next time.